Nearly 300 wildlife-related calls come into animal control every year, leading the Abilene Police Department to partner with a Holly-based wildlife rehab center to help ease the workload. As KRBC's Tyler Henderson found out, this partnership comes with one common goal in mind. While educational ambassador Ruby enjoys her snack, founder of Big Country Wildlife Rehab Jennifer Klein Peter has been hard at work. The nursing career is over. I am doing this full time now. I retired as a nurse in March of last year. Seeing hundreds of animals come through their still growing rehab, but now they have a new task ahead of them, helping animal control with wildlife calls. Nuisance wildlife is the most common. Um, skunks and traps, raccoons and traps. Getting at least five wildlife calls a week up to 15 during some parts of the year for rabies carriers like skunks and raccoons to non-rabies carriers like squirrels and possums and even the honey badger call and the honey badger was on the front porch of a, of a resident here in Abilene. It's in an effort to help Abilene Animal Control's goal of having high wildlife release rates. We take those animals in, we quarantine them, depending on species, up to 21 days. So it's 14 to 21 days. We fully vaccinate and then uh, release. Meaning rabies vector species like skunks and raccoons wouldn't have to be euthanized right away if they suspected it had a disease. If animals come in and they're in quarantine and they start developing these diseases such as uh, uh, rabies or distemper, we unfortunately have to euthanize because there's no cure for that disease. Making those three weeks especially important for the life of the animal if it doesn't develop those symptoms. But we're giving that animal the opportunity to be in quarantine to show us if it even has the disease. Just because they're a rabies vector species, it doesn't necessarily mean that they have that disease. Vaccinating the healthy animals is a preventative like flu shots for us and getting them out of your backyard and back in the wild where they belong. In Holly, Tyler Henderson, KRBC, Abilene's Local News. Thank you, Tyler. Klein Peter says it's perfect timing for their partnership to begin because many of the rabies vector species start having babies in early March, April, and May.